What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the apply function for multiple columns for your data frames with pandas. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at using the apply function on multiple columns. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, books, for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we looked at using the apply function, and that just allows us to write our own little functions and then apply them to our data frame. And we looked at that doing just one column at a time. And that's, you know, generally what you're going to want to do. But there are obviously times when you're going to want to use multiple columns at once instead of just one column. Now, you could always use just one column and then just do it twice to a different column. But if you wanted to automate it all at once, that's what we're going to look at in this video. So I've got a file I'm calling it apply underscore multiple. And I've got the same starter code that we have in the last video. So we've got this basic data frame and it has corporation employees and salary. And in the last video, we looked at changing this to thousands instead of just, you know, 200, it would be 200,000. Instead of 220, it would be 220,000, right? And we did this, we just created this little function that took everything times 10, added a little comma in there, and then we applied it using the apply function. So we wanted to do it on the salary column. We applied it, we called the function, that's the name right there, and boom, it bopped it out like that. Now, one thing very quickly I want to show, I showed you how to do this. But what if you want to append that back on to your original data frame so that, you know, it shows on there? How do you do that? It's super easy. We just come down here and call my underscore DF. And then now what column do we want to change? We want to change our salary column. And we just set that equal to this whole thing that we just did. Now that will make the change, but to actually see it, we then have to have my underscore DF like that. Boom. And now we can see forevermore, it actually says 200,000, 220, 190,000, et cetera, instead of these abbreviated numbers there. So that's how you do that. But the point of this video is how do we do multiple columns? So let's say we want to change corporation and employees. Now notice these are both strings. That's kind of important. You wouldn't want to make changes to this and this. It's going to be a little more complicated because these are strings and these are integers. But just for the sake of kind of getting started here, we're just going to deal with these two string columns here. So, so let's just create a stupid little function that adds the word codomy in front of every item in these two columns. So let's go define, I'm going to call it namer. We want to pass in an x. And here we just want to return the word codomy, and then maybe a space. And then whatever the thing was, right? So we can do it like that. Now, if we want to apply this function to these two columns, how do we do that? Well, it's super simple. We just call our data frame minus score DF. And then we use two sets of brackets. And in the first one, we say, which one, which column do we want to deal with? Well, we want to deal with the corporation column. And then we also want to deal with the employees column. And then just like before, we want to dot apply and pass in our namer function. So if we run this, boom, we get code me and a little colon and a space added to every item in every column. And it's really just that simple. And the same thing, we could come up here, just like we did up here, right, to add this to our existing data frame. I'm just going to copy this guy. And we're going to go like that. And then we're just going to set that equal to this whole thing. There we go. And then again, to view this, we have to my underscore df. And we do that, boom, we get our original data frame with the corporation employees and the salary. And now it's been appended the way we want it to. So this is a ridiculous example, because why would you want to append code me in front of everything here, but whatever you want to do, you can do. Now you know that to do multiple columns, all you have to do is pass the multiple columns with your regular apply function. And that's all there is to it. Now, this can get a little bit wonky when you start to use logic in your function. And maybe we'll talk about that in a future video. If you guys mess around with that and find problems, comment in the comment section below. Maybe we'll talk about it in the next video. Uh, but really, that's kind of all there is to it. And uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out CodeMe.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.